Today in video games, the University of Toronto Game Making Deathmatch starts next week. The video game world goes silent as Skyrim was released. And PETA is angry with Nintendo because Mario wears animal skins in his latest DS game. Hi, I'm Francesco Cialandini and this is Versus Mode, sponsored by ANC Games. Today we're going to be talking about BioWare vs. Bethesda, who makes the better games. Today our speakers are Ray, representing Bethesda, and Stephanie, representing BioWare. Are you guys ready for this debate? Yep. Oh yes. Our first topic is character development. For one, Bethesda has no character development. Oh really? And what about the billions of combinations you can have for classes? Okay, that is not so much like growth in your character, so much as just skill set. Um, it changes what the character can do, but not how the character behaves. There's nothing about the character's real like personality changing. And every other character that you meet in the world is pretty much a zombie. Enough with character. Now what about the worlds of these games? You know, one thing that always pisses me off about Barbara games is the fact that they are very small. I mean, seriously, it's boring, it's claustrophobic, you have nothing going on in there. Okay, so I'd just like to say that the fact that the world is small is totally made up for by the fact that they have so much story. They have to put you on a bit of a rail to make sure that you go where you're supposed to go so that you find out what the story is. Whereas with Bethesda, you've got this huge, like, wide open plains. You can go anywhere, sure, you can walk around. Like, oh, walk around aimlessly for hours and pick up objects and take them to your house. That's pretty much a Bethesda game. You seem to forget the fact that in Fallout 3, for instance, every single corner of the game has a story behind it. Even if you don't look directly at it, there's still something hidden there, always. Well, obviously the stories aren't important enough to draw everyone's attention. Well, you're in a huge world and you have to survive it, especially in Fallout and Morrowind. In Bioware, you just have to follow some boring epic story, which a hundred thousand games had it before. Do you realize boring and epic are kind of an oxymoronic pair there? Not really. In this case, it's just very generic. Before this gets boring and epic, uh, let's change to the next one, game mechanics. Uh, Mass Effect, I would say. Um, it's. I, I really admire what, like, I know some people are upset that Mass Effect has seemed to move away from the more RPG type um, gameplay to a kind of shooter gameplay, but I feel like it's become so much of a gateway game because it got me into shooters as well as RPGs. Uh, I don't think Mass Effect is uh, RPG in any single sense. Oblivion and Fallout 3 have a lot more RPG elements and everyone complained about the fact that they're not as their predecessors. Yeah, I, I think we can agree that both of these companies have improved greatly since the old days. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you both for coming. You both uh, presented really excellent points. Uh, remember our sponsors, ANC Games. Nice. I'm Francesco Cialandini. This was Versus Mode. Keep on grinding.